The legendary K-Day was L.A.'s only 24-hour hip-hop station until newcomers came along and changed the format in March of 91. The station's most prominent DJ, Greg Mack, remembers meeting Easy one night at a club. I remember we were doing a, uh, uh, a promotion at a club called the Casa, a club which was mostly Hispanic in downtown L.A., and it was a Friday night. We were doing a live thing out there on the radio station and stuff. Easy and uh, Dr. Dre had brought him out because Dr. Dre was uh, doing mixes for K Day at the time. So he had brought Easy by and said, you know, this is a guy that's trying to get into business. And, you know, what can you tell him as far as, you know, what he needs to do and what kind of music he needs to come with? And uh, basically, I listened to Boys in the Hood, which he had on his uh, headphones, which he was walking around with. And I said, well, you know, it's not a bad record, but uh, you need to clean up the language a little bit. You know, I said, it's not a matter of selling out, but you need to, uh, you know, take the, the cuss words out in order to get on radio. So I think it took about um, a week and Easy came back and he had a clean version of uh, Boys in the Hood, which I'd been hearing on the streets for at least a month before that. Everybody was bumping it. So it was like something we didn't even think about. We just put it on right away, and the response was immediate also. And it just, it just took off. Of course, 5 -0 departments across the country were not amused with this single. During the summer of 1989, N.W.A. members were detained in Detroit and Ohio for performing the song in concert. Later on that September, the FBI sent a letter to Ruthless Records and various radio stations denouncing the song as a personal threat to law enforcement agencies everywhere. Greg Mack was bumping N.W.A. songs on K-Day when he got the word. When they got the letter from the FBI, we were shocked by it. We were like, what? You know, these guys, they're not, they're not bad people. But that was just the image they was putting out there. And then, you know, it kind of made me really listen to what they were saying when they were talking about F the police and all of that. And uh, after I experienced it a few times of run-ins run with the police, I knew exactly what they were talking Easy E as an example. And as Greg Mack reminds us, his death should not be in vain. There should be some kind of Eric Wright Foundation set up. Uh, I think that uh, his death should, should be used for uh, a positive... Thing. And when I say that, I mean getting the word out about AIDS and its destruction. And I think a lot of it is just uh, ignorance because people really don't know about this disease. Uh, not that I know any more because there's research still still being done, but you should know everything that you can know. And I'm sure that Eric would want it that way. 